Welcome back. Trespass charges against First Nations protesters who entered a salmon fish farm in British Columbia have been dropped. And it happened just days before the scheduled court date. Lori Hamlin has the story. We ain't going to stop fighting with the fish farms. The B.C. government licensed the first salmon farm in the 1970s, and by the 80s, First Nations communities, fishermen and environmentalists were voicing their concerns. If you're the fish farming industry, just get out. The Muscomau, Jawadeno, have loudly opposed fish farming in their territory for 30 years. We do not welcome them into our territories, into our waters. We remain with our stance that is unceded territory of the Muscomau, Jawadeno. But despite their opposition, the fish farming industry continues to use their waters to raise Atlantic salmon. In August 2016, traditional leaders and biologist Alexandra Morton, who's been studying the ecological impacts of fish farming, entered a salmon farm in the Birdwood Islands and gave the company an eviction notice meant for all fish farms in their territory. You are trespassing. We have never given you the rights to be in our territory. Our membership gave us, uh, gave us marching orders. We went ahead and did what we you know, what we thought was best to try and get these fish farms out of our territory. Three days later, approximately 60 First Nations entered another salmon farm owned by Marine Harvest to perform a symbolic cleansing ceremony. But on September 23rd, Marine Harvest filed a lawsuit of trespass against Alexander Morton, John Doe, and Jane Doe, legally avoiding naming any First Nations. In return, three traditional leaders took a stand identifying themselves and filed a defense. June 1st was to be their first day in court, but now Marine Harvest has dropped the case against John and Jane Doe, but not Morton. Greg McDade, the traditional leader's lawyer, says Marine Harvest doesn't want to put their rights to be there up against First Nations rights. When faced with the, uh, the choice, they, they cut and ran <laughs> rather than raise the question of First Nations rights. They have effectively conceded that First Nations have the right to board their facilities. And although it might be a victory, the Jawadano want to see all charges dropped. I wouldn't say it, it's a big victory. It, it's a stepping stone for us. But I just want to say to Marine Harvest, you know, you may have dropped us out of the case. But also remember, Alexander Morton was adopted into the Muscoma Nation. So she has... When we're out there, she has a right to be out there with us, or even when she's out there on her own. Morton is still waiting for a court date. Laurie Hamlin, APTN National News, Vancouver.